five minutes on this. Okay. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the key things, I mean, one of the things that we were talking about in terms of um, if somebody's going to make that type of decision mm -hmm. um, and they're going to use whatever type of funeral, direct funeral plan they want, and they've got to think about it. what are the factors that make a difference. And as we said before, we're different types of people who do this for different needs, um, as we just worked out from the last exercise. But you also have to think about, well, what is it that, if I am in this position, what will make the difference between who I choose? Mm -hmm. What are the factors that I have to take into account when coming to this decision? Mm -hmm. Now, you've mentioned some already. Yeah. Uh, obviously, um, you said that I'll need to speak to, but, but speak to somebody about what? What is it they need a reassurance of? Now, a, a self professional should be able to think through and know sort of thing, the sort of things that make the difference and what makes a specific difference to a particular client. It's yeah. about knowing your clients, which I would talk about. If you, if you ask the questions, you can find out what the particular needs are from the client. The more focused the questions, the more relevant they are to the client, the closer you are to finding out what makes that difference. What, what do we call the drivers? Now, you, you buy something when you have certain needs, and those needs are satisfied by the, what called product details. Uh, if the product details are satisfactory, then you create a desire to buy because they satisfy what you need. It's all about client needs. As I said before, it's not about you selling, it's about finding out where the gaps are in terms of where the customer is at that precise moment in time. Now, for somebody in um, uh, looking to purchase a funeral or funeral plan, they may have not an idea about what it is that they need. And that, that coupled with the fact that it's an emotional time as well. Yeah. Now again, even when you come back to the funeral plan, which we've got a lot of time to think about this, but again, if you, if, if you only do this, as we say, you know, you, you, deaths, births and marriage, you, you know, it's not something that you do every day and there's no instruction manual that you, you, you know, you're not taught this at school, are you? So no. you have to think through uh, the consultative approach to being able to address this particular issue. Yeah. Um, so what are the differentiators? So if I were to say to you, if you were, and this is where you throw away your expertise, you've got to think about it, as we did the last exercise, yeah. from the client's point of view. Yeah. What is it that they need to know, and what is it that they need to know to make the difference? And if you think about all the factors, then you can work out what the differentiators are with each client, which are the major ones that make the difference. So yeah. let's do a mind map. Again, we'll do a mind map. Okay. So we're talking about funeral plans. Mm -hmm. So what are the factors people take into account when they are looking to make this particular purchase? Mm -hmm. um, is the money safe? That is money because we could have that, we could be looking after their money for a long time. They might take a plan out, they might die 30 years later. Are we still going to be around? Is the money still going to be there? Is the money safe? Yes. Yeah, is the money safe? Um, but also, um, will, will the company still be around? Will. <laughs> and that's quite important. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <Yeah. laughs> you are talking about it. It could be a few years' time. It could be very So, yeah, be very now, are you a fly by night? Have you just started off? Do you have a track record? Are yeah. you there for that? Yeah. yeah. So, is the money safe? Will you be around? What other factors are they taking into account? Yeah. Um, will, will my family be looked after? They're doing this often because they don't want the family to be burdened, they want to leave everything. Yeah. Um, so you take care of everything? Yeah, are we going to be caring? Are we going to care about their family? Yeah. Um, I've got to say, I mean, that's a, when, when we uh, buried my mum, that was one of the factors that really, you yeah. know, they, they, they took care of all the little, little tiny things, yeah. you know, little things, yeah. things to consider and that type of thing, you know. Yeah. So you, you, well, once you've got that, you put your trust in them as well, you see. So what else? Yeah. What other factors? Um, so it's, it can be quite um, an emotional process taking out a funeral plan. Mm -hmm. So how easy it is to take the plan out. Um, they're old, they probably don't want to fill forms out. Yeah. Um, is it, is it going to be easy for them to do? Ease of purchase? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, sort of how, how, how are, are they going to be guided um, th through this? Yeah, um, it's a bit like um, if, you were if, you were, if it was a store, you'd be looking at availability on the yeah. line. Can they find the information quickly and that type yeah. of thing? Yeah, yeah. Ease of purchase? You know, yeah, other factors. Yeah, definitely ease of purchase. Um, there is a big factor that you well, talk about at funerals, which is... 
Price. Oh, price, yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah, pri- yeah, price is a... I mean, sometimes it's not, but often it is. But, pri- yeah. but can I just say, again, this is something where somebody will I don't care how much it costs, but let's put it this way, even though you're doing this, you know, in terms of when you're, you're gone, mm. you're still going to be considering the yeah. amount of money, because obviously you're still alive at that precise point yeah. in time. Yeah. But you know, one thing I would always say when you talk about price, it's never just about price. Mm-hmm. You see, the cost of a fibre... You always think, well, the fibre. No, if you if you if you go to um, going out with uh, drinks with a friend, you go and look in your you wallet, your purse, you got a fiver, and you think, oh, that's all I've got. That's not good much. But if you're in church and the collecting tin comes around, and you look in your purse, your wallet, you got a fiver, and you think, <laughs> fiver? That's a king's ransom. You could you could feed a family on a month for that. See, it's not about cost. It's about your perception of value at a particular, at a particular yeah. time. Yeah. So price is always about value. And that's the thing about why I say. Being the most expensive is actually a very good sales tool because mm-hmm. it comes down to one of the areas as well, not just about will you be around, but there's, there's another factor in terms of this, and especially when you're talking about, um, I, I have a friend whose um, wife died, she was Irish, and went to the funeral, and the one thing that um, he was so pleased about in almost this distressing time was that she had a really good send-off, mm. and it was respectful mm. and it was like and she and you know <laughs> and the choice of the director mm. and the way they did it mm. gave it an extra edge of prestige mm-hmm. and quality mm. so yeah. quality is obviously going to be a factor which comes into that which is why i say price yeah. isn't uh, uh, is a factor it's a differentiator yeah but you're talking about something like um prestige yeah and i put quality because quality doesn't always come with prestige. Mm-hmm. If you've been around for hundreds of years, that gives you prestige. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, if you've yeah. been around for 30 years, you still can have a very quality service. Yeah. What are the factors? Um, oh, I asked other people the differentiators. Um, I'd say that um, sort of professionalism, the, the yeah. quality of the stuff, the people you're dealing with, it's a, you know, a funeral director, you're not... The customer doesn't really see it that they're dealing with an organisation. They're dealing with a person. Yeah. That's going to be me when they're buying the plan or an arranger in the branch come the time of need. And so um, it's kind of important that, 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 um, you know, that they're dealing with people that, who, are, who are well-trained, who they can trust. Yeah. I don't put, I put professionals on there, but I'm also going to add to the, the people. Yeah, the people factor is really important. Mm. Can I just say... Professionalism, yes, everything works, everything's yeah, good, everything's yeah. smooth, everything's yeah. like, like we're talking about ease of purchase. Yeah. But again, this is another factor. That, that doesn't necessarily mean because it's a very personal business like yours, but it's every business, it's the people. Right. <laughs> yeah. when you, if you buy your your weekly groceries at a well known supermarket, as the Sainsbury's Little, one of the factors that keep you coming back is, oh, I like the staff there, they're really yeah. friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're really nice, you know, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So again, the people make a difference as well. Yeah. Um, any more? Uh, not that I can think of off the top of my head. Okay, okay. Now, can I just say, if you're thinking about this, anybody who's in the sales game, if you're not thinking about what differentiates you, this isn't just sales, it's custom service as well. Mm. You've got to think about, well, what will be the difference between me, what factors are all way up in my mind in terms of picking between? Because if it's something you're definitely going to do, then it's a bit like, sort of like, well, obviously we've got the, the cost and things like that, how much money we've got for this, but will we be, are they going to, are they going to have a good, are they going to have a right, are they going to be able to do this? And These are all, thinking this through from your customer's position mm-hmm. gives you an opportunity to think about the differentiators and how you br- bring those into particular sales. That's where you can focus much more focused on the individual you're speaking to, rather than just go through a lot of sales spiel, we do this, we do this, we can do this, we can yeah. do that, that type of thing. Yeah. Which sounds nice, but really what you want to do is you want to be able to take from the needs that you've been covered earlier from the, from the customer, and your clerk talks about what they're looking for, and then you, 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 you are able to talk about what specifically satisfies those needs, mm-hmm. And then you can talk about what else you do, which actually adds the extras mm-hmm. to the process, mm-hmm. you know, the things that you need. But then what you're doing is, again, we're not talking about selling, we're talking about finding the gaps, filling those gaps to the customer satisfaction, mm-hmm. creating the trust, yeah. creating those uh, that area of they've taken care of everything. Mm-hmm. That would be something, the, the more you satisfy that, the more the value comes into this approach. So, again, it, uh, once somebody walks away from something and they're completely satisfied, then mm-hmm. you've done a good job.
yeah. to be able to know that and to be able to know what to say at that time, mm -hmm. then it becomes a much more personal process. And it's not just, you know, a, 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 a um, conveyor belt type of process. This is what you do, this is what we do, this is what we can offer you. So on the dotted line. It becomes a much more of a consultative, consultative process. Yeah. That's why looking at differentiators is important. Yeah. Now what I'm going to get you to do is um, I'd like you to just take these uh, as the mind map we've got there. Yeah. Complete these. But again, think about the areas around each uh, each of these. Yeah. And think about the factors that take come into account when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. And that way, what you've got there is you've got a much fuller picture of the type of approach and benefits and value adds and uh, and information you give to somebody uh, at a time when they need to have this sort of information so it's, it's really about helping you to be more consultative with your clients yeah okay yeah yeah okay give you two or three minutes yeah now. brilliant